What's going on, guys? Still so, so back at you with another video. Week four, man. Uh, NFL season go back. Yeah, already week four. I know. Yeah, it's it's crazy, man. Next thing, next thing you know, it'll be week sixteen already. Anyway, let's get to the predictions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, week four picks. Uh, should be a pretty interesting week, but uh, but yeah, Thursday night fo Thursday night football. Bears at the Packers. Packers. Yeah, Packers. Considering it's going to be in Lambeau, you know. This is the oldest rivalry in NFL history. It's, even even though the Bears. It's a good rivalry. I think it's going to be. I think the. Excuse me. I think the rivalry is going to be revived. It's going to be a good rivalry. Good rivalry like it was a decade ago. Right. But uh, it's in Lambeau. I got the Packers. And throughout the past couple couple games uh, for the Bears in Lambeau, they've played pretty good. But I'm still going to go with Green Bay. Yeah, Packers. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday games. Saints at the Dolphins. This is a London game. Oh, is it? Yeah, nine thirty. Oh, cool. It's it's televised too. I'm watching this. Anyway, um, I'm going to go with the Saints. Uh, like, <laughs> Dolphins got, I won't say blown out, but. They got, they they, got they, beat by the Bills. The Jets. Oh, the Jets. I'm fucking stupid. I'm thinking the Broncos. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go with the Saints. I got Saints, too. All right, yeah. next game, Titans at the Texans. Titans. Mm, this is going to be a good game. I'm going to go with Tennessee. Uh, we saw what the hell the Titans did to the Seahawks defense. Imagine what they can do to the Texans defense, so. Yeah. Titans. Plus, they had a hell of a performance, too. So. They really did. Titans. Jaguars at the Jets. This is just the most boring game of the fucking year. <laughs> uh, Jaguars. I don't care. Next. I'm kidding. I got to make a prediction. Uh, um, the, yeah, the Jags. Their defense is going to have, like, five picks and 20 sacks. All right, next game. The Panthers at the Patriots. Next. Lions yeah. at the Vikings. I'm sorry, but we already know who's going to win that game. Yeah, the Patriots and Panthers. Yeah, P Patriots. Yeah, okay. Uh, li li yeah, what the hell? Lions at the Vikings. I have to admit, Lions have been playing some real good football. They really have, man. So I got to go with the Lions here. However, the Vikings did look impressive. Against Tampa Bay. Sh should be a very good uh, NFC uh, North game. Um, I'm going to go with the Lions, though. Yeah, I think the Lions... The Lions are looking real good. They could be a huge sleeper. They are. I think. I think. I think they'll be a wild card team with the Bucks. It's possible. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the Lions. Yeah, Lions. Bills at the Falcons. Falcons. Bills had a real good performance against the Broncos, but Atlanta's, you know, I think is the better overall team. Their their offense is just uh, uh, much, basically much unstoppable. Better. Yeah, much much better. So though. I'm gonna go with the Falcons. Yeah, Falcons. Steelers at the Ravens. This game's gonna be this game's gonna be difficult for both teams. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be competitive. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be tough, physical. I cannot fucking wait for this game. It's in Baltimore, of course. Um, I'm gonna be confident. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely a, gonna be confident. But I'm, I'm gonna trust in my team. We have not beaten Baltimore in Baltimore in five years. I think that ends. I think we bounce back with a very good win. And um, I got the Steelers. I mean, I'm very, However, I'm very confident in Steelers as well. I'm very confident, but it's just that I think we're gonna uh, split with the Ravens. I think we'll beat them in Pittsburgh. I really do. But I guess so. Baltimore. I, I mean, I think it's gonna be real tough. So I, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna go with the Ravens. I don't know. It's tough, man. It really tough, is. Though. But, but should be interesting. But you gotta admit, it's gonna be a good game. Yeah. So. But anyway, uh, Bengals at the Browns. Um, who cares? <laughs> uh, you know, what? fuck it. They're Browns. really fighting for last place. Yeah, they really are. Uh, fuck it, Browns. I mean, Bengals had a good performance. I can't, I can't, I can't argue with that. I mean, you can't deny that. No. Yeah, you really can't. Like they had a good performance. Andy Dalton did real good. AJ AJ Green did real good. William Jackson the third actually got a pick six on Aaron Rodgers. And when does Aaron Rodgers ever throw a pick? But six? that was like the easiest pick six ever. It was, exactly. It was like the easy, exactly. It was like the easiest read ever on and a the, fucking out route. And the rookie defensive end Carl Lawson got like. Two and a half or three sacks on Aaron Rodgers, and the Bengals still lost in overtime. Like, yeah, I mean, granted, you know they took them to overtime. Congratulations, but this game, I I'm actually gonna go with the Bengals. I, re I really am. Even though I wouldn't be surprised if the Browns win this. Fuck it, Browns. I don't know. I'm gonna go with the Bengals. Rams at the Cowboys. Cowboys. However, I can mm. see. However, however, I can see this being a very high-scoring game. The, the, Ram the Rams' offense is very young. I believe they actually Very have fast. the. I actually, I actually believe they ha they scored the most points by any offense so far this season with yeah. 107. Yes, they have. So this is gonna be tough. I'm gonna go with the Cowboys here. Considering it is in Dallas, I am gonna go with the Cowboys, but I can see the Rams pulling this. Off it. 
Excuse me. I can see Dan Bailey making the game-winning field goal. It's possible. Yeah. Eagles at the Chargers. Um, I think the Chargers' pass rush is going to be too fierce for uh, the Eagles' offensive line. Like, they, yeah. definitely Joey Bosa and Melvin Ingram, like. Yeah. I'm actually going to, mm, Man, that's, that's actually a tough decision. Like, uh, um, Chargers, I don't know. I can see Eagles winning, but I think Chargers are going to pull this off. I think they, did they win the game yet? No, I, th- I don't think they did. No, no. So uh, I, I believe not. Let me check, actually. I actually don't think they've won it. No, they, they didn't. No, have. They didn't. Is it going to show? Oh, uh, I got to scroll down. That's stupid. They have not won yeah, the they, game. Yeah, they have So I actually think Chargers are going to win their first game, so I'm going to go with the, uh, the Chargers. Yeah, I can see it. It's, it's kind of That's what the Eagles do. But I gotta admit that kick by uh, Jake Elliott was crazy. Oh hell yeah! And the Bengals got rid of him. They literally wasted a fifth round pick for nothing. They didn't get rid of him. They put him on the practice squad. Then then the. But Eagles still, played. like you're not even gonna use him. Well, I'm just saying. I, I don't know. But next game, Giants at the Buccaneers. Ooh, that is gonna be a very good game. That might be. I might be watching this game. No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll either I'll go back and forth between this game and the Raiders and Broncos game. But. I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with the Buccaneers. Bucks. I think Mike Evans has a really good game here. I really do. Like the Giants have really disappointed me a lot. Like I expected a lot from them. Of course. Like the addition of Brandon Marshall, you know, I thought their offense was gonna be one to top, but they really haven't produced so much. Right. And their defense hasn't really done so good either. Like I, I expected know. a lot from the Giants, but the Buccaneers, you know, I can definitely see them as a wild card team. So, I'm going to go with the Buccaneers. Yeah, I got Bucks. 49ers at the Cardinals. Cardinals defense should have a hell of a game. Uh, they, the, the 49ers have a good offense. They do. Pierre Garçon, uh, Brian Hoyer's not looking too bad. Uh, Carlos Hyde. Carlos, they, Carlos Hyde, man. Like, he, I think he's a very underrated running back. He really is. I agree. But um, I think Carlos is going to win this game. Yeah, I'm going to go with Arizona. Yeah. Raiders at the Broncos. This is going to be a hell of a game, This man. might actually be... Game of the week, unless that game could very well go to the Steelers and Ravens. It really depends. It depends. But yeah. this game, like, this is going to be a, this is a division rival. This is going to be a good game. Um, I'm going to go with the Raiders. I think they back the Raiders. There. The Raiders suffered a nasty loss, but so did the Broncos. But I, th- I think that the Raiders bounced back with a, with a uh, in in the Mile, in the Mile High State with Mile High, Mile, Mile High City. Yeah, I have to agree, Raiders. Yeah, Raiders. Sunday Night Football, Colts at the Seahawks. Why couldn't you flip-flop this game and the Broncos game for Sunday night? Colts haven't really done anything. They have Jacoby Brissett. I don't know when Andrew Luck's coming back. Seahawks, you know, they're still a good team, but their defense hasn't really, in my opinion, hasn't really been, like, the number one defense like it was a couple years back. Of course, yeah. And their offense their offense has some weapons. Russell Wilson's still a very good quarterback. and But... It's not really, like, too productive, in my opinion. I think the main reason, like I said a bunch of times, is the Seahawks offensive line. Right. But uh, Colts don't really have too much of a pass rush, so I, I got the Seahawks. I'm a, yeah, definitely. Seattle. And my night football, Redskins at the Chiefs. I have the Chiefs. Uh, yeah, definitely the Kansas City. This is an arrowhead, too. Yeah, and I think that uh, I think uh, Kareem Hunt's going to have another 100-yard game. Cream Hunt, man. Cream Hunt is a monster. He has the potential to be the best running back that has come out of this draft. I like him coming out of the draft, so I think Cream Hunt has a hope. Honestly, I could see him leading the league in uh, rushing yards. It's possible. I can see him being. Honestly, I could see him being the next uh, Adrian Peterson or uh, the next. Um, I don't know Jamal Adams. No, not Jamal Adams. Uh, Jamal Charles, only not as fast. I don't know, dude. I don't like, know. Th- this Chiefs team is really looking so good. Looking very good. Yeah, but I got the Chiefs. Oh, yeah, definitely Chiefs. But that's our week four picks. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Let us know you guys' predictions, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace!